Hello everyone, I am back with another Ruby reaction and first video I've been, I've recorded since getting out of the military, although I am joining the guard, so there is that as well, and let me make sure things are set up correctly. Testing, testing, it looks good, okay. So um, before I get into this, I did have a couple parts of this episode spoiled, granted, uh, it was nothing that like didn't throw me through a loop, nothing that didn't um, shock me as you will, um, and I'll explain what it was that was spoiled for me. Um, after the episode is ended. Uh, but uh, otherwise, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if White's is going to live, although chances are she's going to live, especially given the spoiler that I was uh, that I stumbled into. But I'm not big on spoilers. I don't care if it's spoiled for me. Understandably, though, if, if it is spoiled, then there's really no point in posting a reaction, which I did kind of juggle the idea, but I'm like, eh. There's still parts of the episode I didn't see, you know. There's still things I don't know and whatnot. So there is that. So to quickly recap, um, Ozpin and them got set up by Leo Leinhardt, who's thinking that once Ozpin and all them are dead, he can be free or whatever, but even though Salem's just gonna kill him afterwards. So, um, uh, I think he's just delusional. He's just, like, trying to convince himself that what he's doing is the right thing, even though he's kind of tossing and turning. You know, it's how, how can this guy not, you know, get some sleep and not wake up in a cold sweat, knowing what he's done? Um, and, of course, we know, uh, Weiss... Got fatally, potentially fatally injured by Cinder, who's evil and bitchy and whatnot. But um, I don't know what it is, but I, I can't get behind Jessica Negri's voice acting. I mean, I like the character Cinder. I like it when she's, I want to say arrogant. I mean, I know that's like 90% of her lines, but I think it's the delivery is what feels off to me. It's a little bit of the delivery. Um, her lines themselves, though, they're fine. And, and it's not to say Jessica Negri's the worst actress I've ever seen. I've seen far worse than her. But I'm, I, it's just, it's not my thing. I, I don't think she's, I, I just don't think she's had um, proper coaching, if you will. She has potential because it, volume three, like she was great. I was just like, wow, you know, or volume two even, she was great. But yeah, the volume five, I just, I don't know. Something just seems off. Um, so anyways, without further ado, let us get into the video itself. Provided this thing works because it was giving me difficulties trying to get this thing set up. And it, it has to do with XSplit. Weiss! Weiss! Speaking of Cinder. I have this from the trailer. So yeah, he's gonna run over to Weiss. And then the big, like, oh shit, what's gonna happen is about to come up here. Hold up. Alright, that was my boss to be calling me. So I apologize for that. It's a Saturday, dude. Well, then again, it is Guard Weekend. Smack! <laughs> oh. Ruby, get up. Oh, Ruby's fine. She's just. I mean, you. urgently, yeah, she does need to wake up because they're in the middle of a war zone right now. You're letting that boy make a fool of you. That's not just a boy. Oh, he needs no help making a fool of himself. He's already reincarnated. Now, I wonder how Cinder's going to react. Never mind Cinder, how Salem's going to react to that. But you would think Salem would know that. Oh, he's about to go all Broly slash Android 16 on him. Which I made a picture of, you know, Hazel with uh, Android 16's uh, body. Oh no. Ooh. You thought you could hide from me! Ooh shit, he is angry. And he's stripping. So angry I wanna strip. No. What the hell? Uh, dust? Whoa! Well, then again, it's been established that be Jesus. Is he about to go Super Saiyan? Well, something like that, Jesus. <laughs> right? No. Yeah, I would get out of dodge. Jesus, that's scary. Damn. Ozpin is here? Is that a problem? I'm not sure. Yeah, for you it is. <laughs> right now we've got the upper hand. Let's not waste it. Leo! Cinder's more fucked than Tyrion if Ospin survives this. And if they don't get the relic. Ooh. Yang about to go stop him. She's the only one not... Yeah, I was gonna say, she's... She's the only one available right now. Well, Crow, but I think he's helping out Ospin. 
Ooh. You want to get to them? You're going to have to get through all of us. Uh. <laughs> God, Emerald is just OP as shit. In a 1v1, she's OP. Ren, talk to me. This is bad. Well, no kidding, Ren. No, no, not again. Twice, come on, please. Make hats, hats off to Miles. I, I, I have liked this voice acting this by him. This is him at his best, in my opinion. Uh, Raven, are you having second second doubts? Second thoughts? Even though I'm pretty sure her and Vernal are gonna betray Cinder. Unless Cinder betrays them first. No. Either way, that temporary alliance is about to dissolve. No. Ooh, Jesus. Please, wow. Me take over. I can handle it. You told me I needed to fight for myself. So I will. This is not your fight. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah, Oscar. Why is he so upset with us? He didn't tell you my tale, did he, boy? His voice sounds scary. You looked familiar. To think that evil was inside you when our paths first crossed. That evil was inside you. Your blood won't be on my hands. It will be on his. Jeez. Yeah, Hazel's just a beast. Like, I really want to see him versus Gira. Tell him, Austin. Tell him how you killed her. Her? Her? Gretchen Reinhardt was Hazel's sister. Rachel Reinhardt? Despite her brother's wishes, she enrolled at Beacon Academy to become a huntress and tragically lost her life on a training mission. Oh. Hazel holds me responsible. Okay, I mean, that's, that's a simple yet. Yeah. I know Hazel. He's wounded in a way that cannot be healed. You know now. You can forgive me for what I'm about to do. Did she know? Did she know the risk of being a huntress? She was only a child. She wasn't ready. She made a choice. A choice to put others before herself. So do I. I don't think he's going to reach him. And you've chosen death. Yeah. I'm sorry. What? Oh, Ospin's going to forcibly take over. Jeez. She's hardly breathing. I... I don't know what we can do. No, it wasn't supposed to be like this. Please. Can't lose anyone else. Alright, so I'm assuming John's about to unlock his semblance. Yep. It's healing. Be my guess. Of course, everybody's been guessing that even before this episode aired. Because they, they've been making that speculation since, like, Volume 1. When uh, Pira first unlocked his aura and he, like, Are healed himself or whatever. Girl? The first maiden in... I'm not sure anyone knows how many years is about to open a vault. I would say it's quite an exciting time. Don't you feel honored? No. I'm not concerned with any of this. All I care about is my tribe, my family. This is a burden, not an honor. Fair enough. <laughs> You've conditioned her quite well, Raven. Ooh, pretty. It's the tree of life. Hmm. It's certainly grander than beacons. Yeah, yeah, I, I would agree with that, Cinder. I wonder what the extra effort was for. Well, I mean, it is like the Can we please capital of the artisans. After you. I bet Raven and Vernal are like mildly nervous. Like, oh man, this is it. This is our moment. We can pull it off. Even though I think, even though I think Raven's making a fucking terrible decision. Ha! <laughs> Get wrecked. Kick his ass. Come on, Ospin. Yeah, 
Yeah, agile. This is like some David Goliath, David versus Goliath type thing. Yeah, if I, if I, ooh, oh, there we go, there we go, Time Lord shit there. Wow, yeah, yeah, Ospin's definitely holding his own here. Was oh, that gonna interrupt the? What's, what's happening? Please. Yeah, that's definitely Sean's semblance. What happened? What's going on? She got shish kebabbed. Okay. She seems to be stabilizing. Well, check her pulse. Yeah, go help Yang. Yang needs help. Damn it, Emerald. I mean, I like Emerald's character, it's just her power fucking annoys me. Not not like saying, like, oh my god, we're so it's more like, can somebody fucking, like, knock her ass out or something? Yeah, I, th I think Ospin's got Hazel covered. Okay, or not. Oh shit. Ooh! Fuck! Ow! Well then, why did you why, why did you remove his hands? Oscar needs help. I'm on it. John and Weiss still need cover. No one's gonna touch him. Okay. Make it happen, Ranger. <laughs> Boom! There we go. All right, the sisters versus Mercury and Emerald. Let's do this. No, I'm angry. <laughs> and the delivery was a little off there too, but ah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I like Lindsay Jones. You wouldn't like Ruby when she's angry. Or should I say angry? Oh, yeah, kudos to Rusty for the design of this, like, uh, vault or whatever. Having fun? Vernal, stay focused. Oh, come now, Raven. Let her enjoy this. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. How does this work? Once the Spring Maiden places her hand on the door, it will open. For you, and only you. Then now that, I will walk into the vault and retrieve now, the relic. No one else. So I it's wonder that if similar to um it doesn't matter to us. Let's get this over with. To uh the, the clock right, thing then. that um we had. I wonder if Ospin's cane works that way. Because that, that doesn't mean that the cane's a relic, it just means the cane is a key to the vault. Which would explain why they're so keen on keeping it. Oh, Raven. You know, I've heard so many stories about you, Raven. They say you're a cunning leader, that you're strong, that you're clever. Mm, not really. I mean, in some cases, sure, but for the most part, nah. It's a shame that they're wrong. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, did she just spear her too? What the hell did she do? What the hell is that? Oh! oh. Whoa! Okay, interesting. You're just not worthy of such power. I mean, good game for all, but interesting. But I am. So yeah, that explains why the maiden powers, or not the maiden powers, um, the silver eyes hurt Cinder. She has a grim arm now. Shit, are we gonna lose Vernal? Hmm? What is this? Where's the power? Wait, what? You won't find it. Because Vernal isn't the Spring Maiden. Oh! Fuck! Oh, that is oh!
Wow, that, oh, <laughs> okay, okay, Raven, well played, all right, I, yep, yep, your plan, okay, I get it now, Vernal was just a decoy, kind of like how Padme in Star Wars had decoys, <laughs> oh, Cinder, you got played, bitch, oh, okay, so there were a couple comments saying that this episode's pacing and whatnot was a bit off, but I'm like, eh, I liked it, I liked that twist of the Jesus, that was good. Oh, I'm glad that, um, oh, I'm glad that happened. Okay, so that makes me wonder if Leo's story about the Spring Maiden is just like a load of BS about, you know, how she ran off 10 years ago or whatever. But I'm also wondering, like, I'm trying to think here. Well, I mean, I'm trying to think of how she could, like, well, I mean, there's a couple ideas that go to mind. It could have been that Summer, well, now I doubt Summer was the Spring Maiden, although it wouldn't make sense for Summer, well, no, because Summer would have thought of her daughter before dying, not Raven. So I don't think Summer's the maiden thing he was. Let me close this. Delete! Okay, and then uh, Hazel is just a fucking monster. You th I thought fucking Gero was a behemoth. No, Hazel kind of puts him to shame. That's like the equivalent of uh, Broly versus Nappa right now. So, uh, yeah, I, I did post a picture of, uh, you know, like I said, uh, Hazel with Android 16's body with, like, Kilson Ospin, Kilson Ospin. To the guy that said I should have done Broly after seeing this episode, yeah, I agree. It should have been Broly, so I'll probably do one of those here soon. Uh, you know, my cheap photoshopping amateur skills. But, um, so, we're going to have Ruby and Yang versus Emerald and Mercury. And it looks like Ospin and, assuming Crow, although Crow looks like he got took out of commission for a little bit, so he'll probably need a little bit of time to get his breathing in accordance um and then john of course is healing white so weiss is fine as i said in the previous video i did she's gonna be fine everybody freaking out that they're gonna kill her she's a tit tit yeah a, a tit character <laughs> uh, anyways a tight a title character titular character however that fucking word goes and she's a main character if they're gonna kill her it'll be at the series finale not this not a season finale although it could also be you know the season before the final season you know the uh penultimate season if you will like you know if volume 11 is the end is the uh, or volume 12 is the last season volume 11 they kill off okay i could buy it um but it would have to be like at the latter end of it but yeah again this is you know well i mean i guess it could have been the penny death but comparing penny to wise i mean penny was for all intents and purposes not a main player not a main character she was a supporting character but um geez oh so yeah, you know, watching, I like, I feel a lot better now. I feel a bit of a, uh, I don't want to say catharsis, but like, okay, I'm glad I'm right for, you know, not for a change, but I'm glad that I'm right that Weiss is going to be fine. And then the thing that was well for me was John Semblance, but again, I didn't find that to be too big of a deal because I knew that was going to happen. Um, but like everybody and their mother was speculating that it was going to be healing. And I'm like, yeah, given what happened to Weiss, it would make sense for it to be healing or aura restoration or whatever it was. So... You know, it's like, okay, I, I, I thought it was a little underwhelming of a revelation, but I'll, I'll take it. I mean, it works. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, even with that happening, the whole Hazel versus Ospin fight, Ospin slash Oscar fight, that was really well choreographed, really well done. Um, I wouldn't put it in, like, the top ten, but I would put it, you know, slightly above average, similar to the uh, Weiss versus the Lancers um, or Gira versus the, uh, the Ball Sack and Phil Stick. Um, I've, I've been calling them that so much, I forget what their actual names are. Um, but I think the best fight we've gotten so far would be a tie between Blake versus Ilya. And I guess for the, you know, the nostalgia factor, a son versus Ilya with the gunchucks, you know, those making their long-awaited return. Although the fight with Ilya but, and Son wasn't really a fight, it was more of just Son just beating the shit out of Ilya. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I do agree, I guess, with, with that comment about the pacing, that the... Um, the fights are feeling a little bit underwhelming. It's they're kind of spotty. They're all over the place. But I, 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 eh, I don't know. I want more teamwork. Like Emerald and Mercury are working as a team. I get. I, I see that. And hopefully we can have Ruby and uh, Yang work as a team. Um, and then as far as next episode, I imagine Blake and them are going to make their, you know, they're joining in. And then it, that'll probably be like at the very end, though. Like Blake will show up, and then. Episode 12, we'll have, you know, similar to Volume 4, we'll have the big fight. Um, it's looking like... Hmm. I think Cinder could potentially die, but I don't think she will. Adam, I don't see dying either. 
Um, I see that maybe next volume is when he's going to die. Um, as far as volume six, though, now that the attack on Haven is confirmed for this one, well, it's been confirmed for like two episodes now, I'm not entirely sure what volume six is going to be. But uh, I imagine the end twist scene or whatever is going to be Tyrion with his new tail. And if Cinder can get a grim arm, I'm guessing that Tyrion's going to get a grim tail, not a robotic tail. Uh, but that's assuming uh, that Wives had anything to do with Cinder's arm. But it seems like um, with Cinder's treatment, it was Salem kind of guiding her and coaching her to overcome that aspect of her that was a grim and not let the grim overtake her. Basically, don't become a mindless monster. So that also confirms that Cinder did, in fact, lose her arm. Um, or it, Yeah, she lost her arm when... Um, Ruby used the silver eyes. Uh, sorry, I've been... Weather's been giving me the sniffles. But, um... Uh, anyways, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, that uh, Cinder got the grim arm from Salem, or potentially Salem Watts, like he did a science -y thing and combined the two together. But uh, that also means that probably that side of her face is also grim. Uh, the part that was burned... Although it could just be, like, you know, uh, seared... Uh, skin or whatever, like, she doesn't have an eye or anything like that, because if she had a grim eye, then you would think, that, like, she would let the grim part show, because what does she got to hide? Unless she just sees it as, like, an embarrassment, like, a shame, because I, I think she was very uh, self-conscientious of her looks and stuff. She did seem to have that about her. Like, she wants to look good and all that other stuff. But, um... What else? What else? Oh, yeah, Vernal. Um... Ah! Vernal could potentially die because, you know, her entire purpose of the story was to be Raven sort of like, um, uh, how do you, how, how, how do I say it again? Uh, her, uh, her, her decoy, essentially. Like, you were made to think that it was Vernal that had the Spring Maiden power, but it was in fact Raven. And that does make Raven seem a little bit more competent because she had a decoy. Um, so that, you know, all that stuff in volume, or episode nine where she had Vernal run out there, it's like, okay, even if Vernal got caught, well, actually, if Vernal got caught, then her cover would be blown. Um, but yeah, Cinder was going to turn on Vernal. Well, I, eh, I don't know. It makes Raven seem a little... It makes Raven seem more competent, but at the same time, I guess not, because if you're seeing your decoy out and your decoy gets caught and she tries to absorb the powers then, then it's like, okay, well, your cover's blown, and, you know, it's like Cinder knows. But then Raven would also know, and Raven would bolt away. So, okay, yeah. So Raven gets a pass for episode nine. So yeah, this, this episode made nine look a little bit better. Because we got some info on what Raven's true intent, not true intentions, but her methods to her madness. So you, I, I kind of do see her as a bit more brilliant than uh, we were led to believe. So I'm slowly but surely getting behind Raven as a character. I, I, I still don't like her, but I'm not meant to. You're not meant to like her. Um, e even with like with Roman, he's so he's so detestable that you, well, not even detestable, but he's he's smooth, he's charismatic, and so you you like him, but you hate that or you uh, like that you hate him, like you hate him for the right reasons. Um, and then, you know, with Cinder, um, again, I like her as a character. It's just the voiceover is not doing it for me anymore. Um, uh, Tyrion, of course, I like, I love Tyrion. I have, Hazel has definitely moved up in my books. Um, even though the reason for him, like, you know, being the, what he is, it was very simple, very standard, but it fits, it works. So it's like, okay, you know, nothing too fancy, nothing too underwhelming. It was like, you know, pretty standard, pretty, it's like, okay. All right, yeah, I, I can I can see that being a thing. You know, it makes sense. Uh, that also that being said, I could also see Hazel maybe turning good at some point, but maybe not. Maybe like I don't because it seems like he's only with Salem in the sense of revenge, which there were people hypothesizing that Amber was his uh, like his daughter or sister or something like that. I'm like, no, that wouldn't that wouldn't feel right because Amber was just a plot device. She wasn't anything important beyond being the Fall Maiden and, and dying, and then. Cinder getting the Fall Maiden powers, but that being said, we may also get the uh, Fall versus Spring Maiden after all, which I was hoping we would have in uh, episode 9, but we might get it next episode. Um, but I'm, I'm curious if Raven will... Um, I don't know. I don't know what Raven's gonna do. Like, at this point, I'm kind of like I'm drawing up like, I'm like, alright, I don't know. Could go either way. Uh, but I don't... Yeah, she's definitely not opposed to Crow or Ospin directly. She just wants to grab the relic and get out of Dodge. Which, um, I guess kind, would kind of work in Ospin's favor, but that just depends on, uh, and the only reason I say it would work in his favor is because, uh, um, Raven would go into hiding and then Cinder and all of them would be, you know, at a loss for like, oh, where the fuck did she go? And now we got to find her again. And, you know, Leo's not going to help, not going to be of any help. So as for what's going to happen to Leo, um, 
I don't think he's going to die. I think he's going to be essentially incarcerated for treason and thereby executed maybe after the war is over because what he has done is I, I don't see redemption for him unless he like redeems himself by dying because he he, oof, he has screwed over so much that I do not see like him getting the Ilya treatment where Ilya was forgiven essentially for her crimes or whatever. But I think once it's all said and done, then Ilya will have to, you know, pay a sentence or what have you, but it all depends on what Ilya does. So um, I did speculate on, I think it was Can't Stop Amani's Discord that uh, Ilya might die. I don't see that happening now at this point. I don't see it happening. But um, I still say I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But my death flags are a little bit uh, kind of out in the air like now because I'm like, eh, I don't know. Vernal is the only one that I'm kind of throwing anything for. But, you know, Weiss is obviously fine. Yang and Ruby aren't going to die. Ren and Nora, that's a toss-up too, but I don't see them dying. Just, I don't see how that would drive the plot forward because you know the whole point of Jean, you know, seeing Wise die, it would kind of defeat that because it's like, well, you lost somebody anyways, despite your um, semblance and whatnot. But um, I'm definitely glad it wasn't fucking resurrection because there were some people saying that it would be him being able to revive somebody, and I was like, no, that would be dumb uh, and OP, and it would be a, a a lame plot device. But I guess I will say that while it was underwhelming its revelation. It's not like it's, you know, instant healed. It's like it takes some time. So it's not overpowered. It's understandable. It's almost like, a, you know, a medical treatment, if you will. Like he has to have him lay down. He has to like sit there for a good 10 to 15 minutes to get the whole thing rolling. So I can appreciate that. Yeah, it's not like a sensu being where it's just like, go. Oh, I'm strong again. Yeah, back into the fight. Uh, so yeah, Weiss probably will be sitting out the, the remainder of the fight. I, I get the feeling that that's going to be the case. And we'll probably conclude episode 12 with uh, her, you know, waking, or episode 12, episode 14, with her, Blake, and Yang, and Ruby, and all of them standing at her bedside. And it's like, hey, we won. The day is ours. Hooray. Uh, but you never know. Weiss may, may make a comeback. And um, I'm not sure, but we might also see, actually, no, I don't think Atlas is going to show up at all to help Haven. I don't think they will. Um, but yeah, I, I think next episode is definitely going to be the clash of the two white fangs the red versus blue if you will because you have adam's red white fang and then you have uh blake's blue white fang the original uh with the original banner and stuff um i i don't really see gira or kali showing up but i guess they could i just i don't see why they would but they might at least the uh, end of episode 10 was giving the impression they were going to but i think it would be better for them to stay behind and keep menagerie under wraps you know in case they attack menagerie for whatever reason you know, just let it be Blake's son and Ilya that go out, go out and go forth, and then leave um, uh, the 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 rat faunus dude, his like, uh, I guess Gears like top security dude, leave him and a couple of bodyguards behind just in case you know they pull something because they know the bulk of the White Fang and their army are going to be at Haven, so it would be smart to you know leave a little bit of protection behind, but we shall see. So, anyways, I've rambled on long enough. I've rambled on longer than the actual episode is, but that's a good thing. That means I had stuff to talk about. And that mean, and you know, the more I feel engaged in the volume, the more I will enjoy it. So, yeah, episode eleven. Uh, what's this episode eleven? Or is it? No, this is episode twelve. Never mind. Uh, episode twelve. Um, barring the the cliffhanger, although the the revelation makes it better because it's like, oh shit, you know, that that, that opens up the playing field in a completely different way. It's like, oh, the possibilities have now have now expanded. But um, yeah, cliffhangers. I hate them. Never liked him, never will. I mean, th there are ways to do cliffhangers right, and Rooster Deep doesn't do it right. They do it in a way it's like, oh, we gotta keep them tuned in for next week. But, you know, your fans are gonna watch. They're gonna watch. But anyways, you know, I, I, cliffhanger, like, I, the ending of the episode doesn't necessarily defeat what was good so far. It's like the Mass Effect 3 ending. The Mass Effect 3 game was great. The journey was great. The payoff, yeah, that kind of fucking fell flat on its ass, but it wasn't, it could have been worse. But uh, anyways, again, I've rambled on long enough. So anyway, folks, Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I know it's after the fact, but be sure to watch it on Rooster Teeth's website or their channel before you watch it here. They need the views more than I do. This is their product, this is their baby, and their baby needs money. Anyway, folks, have a look up light, and I shall see you all for whatever video I upload next.